chair recognizes Mr. VC for five minutes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Um, and uh, as many of you know, uh, uh, just like the rest of the country, the Dallas-Fort Worth area is experiencing a huge growth in, in technology companies. Uh, and we want to make sure that, uh, that we are collectively working together to ensure that low-income communities uh, and communities of color across uh, the Metroplex, as we like to call it, uh, can benefit from some of the economic opportunities made possible uh, as we explore uh, the next wireless frontier. Uh, and that brings me to my next question uh, for Mr. Geis. Uh, can you elaborate how using a mix of access regimes uh, approach and exploring spectrum opportunities benefits low income communities and communities of color as new technologies and services emerge? Yes, thank you very much for the question, uh, Congressman Beasy. Um, a mix of access regime, what it does is it ensures that entrepreneurs, uh, uh, minority businesses have the opportunity to explore um, getting access to Spectrum and Spectrum technologies on unlicensed networks without a huge upfront payment on Spectrum acquisition. So it creates those kind of opportunities. Um, in addition, you know, the FCC actually has a policy uh, given to it by this Congress uh, under Section 309 that it should structure its auctions in a way that encourages minority and women-owned businesses to participate. And as the FCC looks at structuring auctions, we encourage them to think about how design of that auction, particularly in terms of uh, spectrum service areas, may, may hinder that capability or that opportunity for women and minority-owned businesses. So we kind of push them, and, and we hope you'll push them, but um, it is that mix of access that entrepreneurs and innovators in the unlicensed space can, can obtain uh, market without having to go through the spectrum ac acquisition cost, and then those minority and women-owned businesses that, that can pursue opportunities in spectrum, the FCC should structure its au auction to encourage that participation. What can Congress do to help prioritize that to make sure everyone who wants and needs to be connected has equal access to the next generation technology? Uh, well, you, you know, Congress took a substantial step in the IIJA in bringing connectivity to these communities. Uh, the NTIA, as it rolls that program out, uh, needs to be rigorous in ensuring that the states are pursuing those opportunities where there are, uh, you know, urban and rural divides that need to be bridged. Um, this is a once-in-a-generation investment, and we certainly are encouraging them to make certain that, you know, through the mapping and other efforts, they are targeting these communities with those investments. 